Hey guys, this is Avenger from Gold Realms. This is another tutorial, and this time we are going to be covering Hero Chat. Hero Chat is probably the best uh, comprehensive chat program or chat plugin that you can use for a Minecraft server. Um, the reason for this is it's well maintained, it's updated uh, very frequently. Uh, there are multiple authors on this, including Lord Kanzo, who is a legend in the Bucket community. Uh, it's also it also features a lot of features that you can take advantage advantage of uh, no matter what type of server you own. Um, this server this plugin is really good for PvP servers and for RP servers, but can also be used for more light servers like Skyblock or Sky Wars. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, download the plugin. Uh, we are currently on 1.64 for you guys watching the future. Um, blah, blah, blah. Download. Okay. I uh, open up my test server page. And let's drag this fucker in. Alright. I already had Hero Chat installed. Ignore that. Gotta shut down my server. Alright. Here we go. Okay. Alright. Now, before I continue. On, I need to fix some issues with uh, my permission folder file because it was corrupt. All right, that's all good though. Okay, all right. So uh, Hero Chat is now installed. I'm going to start my server up. Uh, this is a local server, um, so the process for starting for starting your server up will probably probably be a lot different. Okay, no errors. All right, local host. Okay, so, um, bam, right off the bat, it works. Uh, so I want to drag your attention over to uh, three little details of this. First of all, the G. Um, this is ch uh, the channel I'm in, as most of you are probably aware of already. Uh, we can change what's inside this bracket, uh, we can change the channel name, it's alias, which is what you see, uh, and you can also see the prefix of my uh, character being displayed correctly, uh, this can also be changed through the permission file, and then you can see the uh, suffix that I added to my name, which can also be uh, changed in the permission file. Uh, the color of um, the chat itself that can be changed through the Hero Chat plugin uh, through the configuration files, which I will show you right now. For some reason, I'm lagging. Not really surprised. Let's do fast. Let's do short. Let's do power saver. Let's do off. There we go. Now that should save me some frames. And indeed, much faster. However, let's just. Let's just do uh let's do normal. Okay, all good. Alright. So let's configure this bitch. Okay, so that wasn't the wrong the right thing. Oh right, here we go. Okay. Hero chat config.yml. Uh now before we dive into that, uh you, let me drag your attention over to the three folders. Channels, chatters, loggers, or logs. Logs will just uh, store logs of pretty much your whole entire chat. Chatters will cha uh, will store information on all of your users, for example, which channel they're in uh, and whatnot. Uh, and then the channels folder itself will contain all of your channels. Um, I am going to add some uh, channels to it real quick. Uh, I'm going to add a local channel. And I am uh, actually that's it. Okay, so uh, config.yml um, moderator permissions. You can set uh, you can create channels, and for those channels, you can set players as the moderators of those channels. Uh, I'm not really gonna dig too deep into that because it's not really uh, a basic functionality that most people need to know. In fact, most people don't even use this. Uh, default channel. This is the default channel that players will be uh, talking in. Global. Uh, how this can be changed through permissions, but uh, this will be the default default channel setting. Uh, sensors. You can add different words and they'll censor it. Uh, format. All right. This is the important format. Color Nick. Blah 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 blah. If I was to change, um, shit, that's not what I meant to do. If I was to drag this prefix 
after the sender name what you would see is after I reload hero chat is I now have the prefix after my name so that my now my prefix is now a suffix uh, this makes the plugin very flexible uh, you can do this uh, you can change the format of all the channels um, uh, which is very nice uh, I can take out the bracket if I wanted add in a carrot as some people have done on their servers bam now I have a carrot uh, I can make this carrot a different color using Minecraft color codes which you can google online and I will now have a gold carrot um, announce uh, don't worry about that emo that's just I'm pretty sure that's when you do yeah, yeah so if you do slash to me which is emo you can do uh, shit like is farting prof is farting and you can change how that looks like um, so for example I can add uh, a prefix to the emo so that I'll have my prefix in front of my name however on my server I personally disabled emotes because they were fucking annoying uh, now I have a prefix that I put it after it. Yeah, my bad whatever okay so okay um let me change my prefix back to what it was before because it looked nicer that way alright save hero chat really really the configuration file for this uh, is really simple there's really not much to it um, all right, private messages. If you're messaging someone, uh, then you can change how that message looks like. Currently, it's purple. Uh, and it's very nice looking. Um, locale. If you're, I don't know, Spanish, you can change the language of the plugin help uh, stuff. Hero chat. You can change the language of that to um, Spanish. Is there an actual? There we go. You can change all that to Spanish. Um, whoops. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, that's not what I meant to pull up. Where's my fucking thing? There it is. Okay. Twitter style private messages. True. I can't really show you that because I have no one to message. Sadly, because I'm all alone. But it's pretty much all very basic shit to configure. Uh, now, if I go to channels, I'll have two channels: global or local. Uh, that means I can join. I'm currently in global, as you can see. G. I can join local if I wanted to, and I'm now chatting in local, as you can see. And I'm in a different channel. Um, okay, let's, let's go back to the global channel and show you how to configure channels. Okay, global. All right, name of it is global. I want to you know keep that the same. Nick. Now Nick is. You see the green, the green G. That's the Nick. Uh, or the Nick name. Let's change that to Gimp because I have a weird GIMP server. Okay, here, shit, reload. Now I will have GIMP as my name of my channel. Uh, very useful, very useful. Okay, um, format default, this will uh, follow the default format. Uh, however, if I wanted to use my own format for some for whatever reason for this channel I could just copy and paste in a default format and change it accordingly for example if I wanted a global channel to use uh, colons bam hero chat reload and I would now have a colon uh, this of course makes no sense because the global channel is a default channel uh, so I might as well change it uh, in this option right here or in that setting in that field okay uh, let's bring that back to default okay password you can set a password to your channels uh, for example uh, cat and then people need a password to join um, that's why you can like if you don't you can have that be a donator perk uh, their own private channels and you can like give them passwords and monitor uh, power powers to keep random people out color dark green uh, you can change the color of the actual channel uh, where did he put the colors? Um, hold on. Uh, he put the colors somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where he put them. Let's try doing blue. 
he has the colors written down somewhere. Um, so if you just take a closer look at this, uh, oh, here we go. Oh, right. Okay. So if I want to change it to, uh, let's do aqua because it's a nice, beautiful color. There we go. Save hero chat reload. I now have an aqua, aqua channel looking channel. Very nice. Very nice. Um, okay, let's go back to that. Distance is zero. Okay, the distance is very important if you have local channels. Now, the distance of zero means that my voice will be heard throughout the server. It has no range. Zero means it has no range. However, if I take a look into my local channel, I'm in local.yml now, the distance is 20. That means anyone within 20 blocks can hear you. Uh, global channel distance zero means anyone, everyone and anyone can hear you across the server. Shortcut false, I can add a shortcut to accessing that channel, so I don't have to type in slash ch global, verbose, uh, I forgot what it does, cross world false, if I have multiple worlds I can set this as true, and then uh, whenever, I type in, whenever I type into the global channel, everyone across all worlds will be able to hear me. Muted false, it's not going to be muted. Worlds, uh, which worlds have this channel. Bans, who's banned in it. Mutes, who's muted in it. Moderators, who's a moderator. S fairly simple, nothing too complicated. Now let's dive into the commands. Hero chat, help. Alright, slash, let's leave global. You must stay in at least one channel. What does that mean? That means you can, ha uh, you can be in more than one channel at a time. Uh, and pretty much what you do when you what, what you're doing when you when you're in one ch what you're doing when you're in more than one channel is you're focusing on one channel while being part of all other channels. So you can hear everyone talking in the different channels, but you can only talk in the channel that you're focused on. Uh, which I'll show you how to do that if I can uh, figure it out because I didn't really take a look at this too closely. Take a look at this too closely. Okay. So if I do slash ch list, it'll pull up a list of all the channels, global and local, that are the channels I currently have. Um, let's do here chat help too. AFK making weed brownies. You're now AFK, and if anyone whispers me, I'll have it'll come up the message saying this player's AFK getting weed brownies. All right, slash create um, donor or let's do staff, and then staff is the nickname. Okay, so now I can join staff and uh, what? Uh, um, hold on. Let's see what the fuck's going on here. Um, Nick. Huh. Now that is weird. Um, usually, what should be happening right now is instead of seeing GIMP, I should be seeing staff as my channel name. Not exactly sure what's going on there. Uh, <laughs> um, hold on. Now that's annoying. Um, if I can't figure it out, I'll just fuck it. I'll just skip it. Um, Huh. No, that should be. Hmm. That's annoying. Okay, I don't know, honestly. Um It should be working though. For some reason it's thinking I'm still in the global channel, but I'm not. You must join the channel before you can speak. Maybe it's not registering me join the, the channel, right? Maybe I fucked something up somewhere. Um, 
just know that normally it'll work. Uh, <laughs> that's embarrassing. Okay, um, let's look at more commands. Hero chat help three. Kick ban. So if I was a moderator, I could kick players from the channel. If I was, or yeah, I could ban players from the channel, and I could. What does this do? Grants. Oh yeah, and I could grant other people moderator status in the channel. Um. Annoying. What happens if I hold on? If I set yes, I want to fucking reload. Holy shit! Staff. Oh, there we go. Okay, I need to set the. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so now I'm in staff. Doesn't make sense. Never mind. Don't know what's going on. Um. Maybe it's a new version. I don't know. Usually it works though. Uh, and this chat, this chat plugin is great for anything. Um, the reason why this chat plugin I recommend over all the other chat plugins that are kind of as good in terms of functionality uh, and uh, just flexibility and it working right most of the time is um, if you have a if you have a plugin like Factions. Um, Factions will provide a feature uh, where you can set, for example, um, in your default thing, like in front of your prefix, you can uh, add like a string like this, like faction. And what this what this would do is um, it would replace this string from your prefix with the actual name of the faction you're in. And you can do this, and it like that's a feature that multiple plugins have. Uh, like for example, Skyblock or Sky Wars, I could set my score as, uh, or I can put my score in front of my name by just by like doing this. Or if I was on a like on a PvP server and I wanted people to see like, what level I was next to my name, I would just put in level. If the plugin, uh, if the PvP level plugin supported it and supported you know having a string, uh, so pretty much it's, it, this is like that's the reason why Hero Chat is so good. Also, in addition to the channel system when it works, um, and the fact that you can change pretty much everything really easily, the name, the colors, and uh, whatnot. If you have any more questions on this, just let me know in the comments. Um, I'll leave a link to the bucket page for this plugin. Um, I'll take a look at why like it won't it wouldn't let me do the channel switching correctly, and uh, I'll post an update uh, in the description or in the comments as soon as I figure that out. Uh, but for now, that's my uh, second tutorial video, uh, and um, don't forget to check out my uh, my server, goldrealms.com, um, Skyblock, Faction PvP, uh, Kit PvP, and Sky Wars all in one in the hub type server. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Bye, bitches.